the Cummins today. I'm hauling my trailer for the very first time. We're going to pick up a good friend of mine. He, he busted up his car off-roading over the weekend. He's about 40 minutes away from home. So, now I figure she made it to Northern Roundup without a trailer. Why can't she make it the same distance with a trailer and haul something home? So, we're going to go save my buddy. Stay tuned with me. It's going to be a blast. Well, I'm extremely happy to say the old Cummins made it all the way to Phelps to come pick up my buddy's Volvo. Time to get her loaded up and head back home with it. He ended up causing a bunch of havoc with this cracked rim and leaking from the transmission. So, gonna get him home with the old Cummins. How exciting. Can't believe this truck is out here working. 12 seconds later. Well, got to keep it interesting. The intercooler coupler could not hold the boost. I am not being very smart though. The wastegate is not hooked up on it, so I was maybe asking for it slightly. But what do you do? I got Dan on the way with the old dick body, so we always got something to make at home at least. And we weren't too far from home, so... The Cummins will not be making it home tonight. I'll have to come back up here tomorrow with a coupler or probably Monday if I can't get one tomorrow. So, see what happens. <laughs> Absolutely great night. Dan came and got us in his 12 valve. Thought he was bringing the dick, but this is a much better surprise. 12 valves got to help 12 valves. Oh, man. We're off to get the trailer, and at least the Volvo's going to make it home. We'll be back tomorrow afternoon. For, the, for my truck with a new coupler. Well, we return to the scene of the crime. Well, we got Garrett's Volvo back. Luckily, Dan Cummins came to the rescue. Still made it home with a 12 elf. Fucking gonna get her packed up. We'll go get my truck tomorrow and she'll just cruise on home with no problems because without the trailer we shouldn't have any issues. But the load was the only thing that did her in. So probably gonna hook up my wastegate and obviously get a new coupler, but yeah. No wastegate. <laughs> no wastegate. Sounds better with no wastegate. But we'll see what happens. So time to load up. Well, the old Cummins made it home. I picked up a intercooler coupler for it tonight. Or actually really early this morning. I was at Iola all morning looking around for parts for the old thing. Didn't really find too much. I got a new front bumper for it. But anyway, came home and my buddy was supposed to drive me up there to go get the truck. But he decided that he wanted to go do a few other things. So I decided why well, not go for a ride on, on the bike and figure out once I get up there how to get it on the bed. Luckily there's a good little hillside up by my buddy's house I was able to back the truck up to and get the bike on there. So yeah, went up there, threw the coupler on, drove her home. It is running and driving great. If it wasn't for blowing that coupler, it would have pulled that Volvo all the way home. But oh well, what do we do? I know I need to hook up the wastegate. Definitely get a better coupler. I, Spectra couplers from O'Reilly's are definitely not necessarily performance based I would say but then again I would say I was definitely pushing 35 40 pounds of boost when it blew so <laughs> we don't know for sure I get boost gauge and all that in the truck but we will definitely figure that out because I want to know how much boost this thing was making to pop a coupler because man was she hauling the trailer so good I couldn't be more proud of this truck Hold the trailer like an animal. I was, after I got past Eagle River on the way, way to Phelps last night, 
I was pushing her pretty good up those hills unloaded with the trailer, but you would think the trailer would be a good load still, but another, you know, 4,000 pounds of the car on the back probably. Enough of a load that she made a little extra boost and pew! <laughs> so, oh well, what do you do? We're just out here having fun. That's all we can do. And my golly, is this truck a whole lot of fun. It was a great day for a ride up there as well. Luckily, I got this bank in my yard. Take the ramps off my trailer here and get the bike unloaded and get the truck back up in the driveway so we can start doing some more odds and ends tour. But I'll be driving her in the meantime because I am enjoying the hell out of it so far.